Hey there, gorgeous gays. Version 2 here with Let's Play Fight Dads, the video game. Thanks to Nexa for that recommendation for a title. Hell yeah. Today, I don't even know. I honestly, I don't even know. Like, we did the Marjuba thing last time. We could go and do more of that now. There is also a sub-story in here to do. I feel like that's a thing where I'm gonna have, like, I'm gonna want to go in and do a shitload of it at once. Or go around, see if we can get more people for it around the city or something, and then go do it. So, I don't think doing that, that right now is an idea. We could go do that sub-story. We've also got the end of this sub-story. Well, I'm assuming the end it's, would be part three for the, um, the, I can't remember his name, but the wrestling, the, um, Coliseum dude. Still don't know how to progress these ones. Um, Sunflower Girls reappeared. Don't know how to progress that one. This one seems new. I don't, no, that'd be Kamaki. That'd be Kamaki. So, that's what that would be. So, we might go do those. And we can also do some story. And also, I do not remember drinking at the end of the last stream, but apparently I am drunk. So... Just like real life me! Haha! <laughs> I've not... I've not... I've not... Actually, no, I had a cider earlier, but I've been drinking an energy drink, and now I've got a giant frozen thing of water next to me. So I'm not even drunk. Ted Time, you won ten times in a row of Pachinko. Damn, you're good. And damn, do I remember that this game only does 30, and that tanning this camera looks absolutely terrible. <laughs> Yo, what's up? What's up? Mr. Try and hit me. To you, the guy who up and ruined my business. <laughs> I never should have taken you on. You are even, I even hear you're fighting gangs now. I mean, jeez. And I hear you're looking for help. Here's my offer. I'll help you improve my business prospects in, um, in the process. Sounds good. Yay! Got him. Ayo. So is this how it's going to be? As we complete different sub-stories, they'll literally be sent here and then I can recruit them? That works out alright. What's up? Hero's going to live in the penthouse at the very top. I don't know if that's a name we've heard before. Anyway, what's in here? Nothing I can go into? Never mind. Never mind. I'm crashing into everything. There's a little circle here. I'm totally sick of what I'm going to do. Just like recruiting people in zero, pretty much. Yes, I do remember this. It's here, the construction in the background. So look at this fucking place. It's going to be fucking enormous. Hello, what's up? TV station's going to come in here, too. Oh, we've got a lot of people coming in. Are you, you're a sub story man. Hi, sub story man. Hey, something wrong? I don't know. I'm just pooped. I bet you'll feel better if you eat well and make sure you get eight hours of sleep at night. Carrie, you're not my dad. Stop telling me shit. Believe me, I sleep like a log. But I guess my appetite's been pretty low lately. I there's some kind of nutrient drink for me. Oh, goodness. Hmm, an energy drink might do the trick. I've got literally the thing that, like, lowers your hunger gauge. What about that? Uh, Try to cheer up, okay? Uh, what about a Torina? That's heat gauge. Yeah, Torina, there we go. I think this is just what you need. Torina! Torina! Wait, let's look at it. Where is it? Where is it? Can this show up on camera? There we go. So if you look at this... This is gonna go really well. Look at this. If we, if we zoom over, right? This is how you know Taurine's bullshit, right? It's re being really bad at focusing. There's all your things for, like, your different energy things. And you've got, like, 160 milligrams of caffeine, 9 of, like, niacin, pantothenic acid is 3.3. Taurine is two fucking thousand. You know why taurine is 2,000? Because they're not sure if it does anything. And there's nothing wrong with putting a fuck ton of it in your drink. So that's why it's absolutely fucking loaded with taurine. Mmm. Taurine. Thank you, thank you. You literally got in away from finishing trying to drink my OCD. We have other things to do. It's fine. We'll get to it. Glug, 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 glug. Huh? I... What's wrong? Hurrah! I'm... I'm alive again! Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> and it's all because of you. I can't thank you enough, man. Don't mention it. Yeah! Sub-stories. <laughs> Sub-stories. Exhausted on the job. Come, bleeped. Let's go. 
Yeah, there's absolutely enough construction going on here. I feel like this isn't just going to be a Kiwami 2 thing. I feel like this is going to be a whole thing for this. Been the 100 major story progress of five hours where you do other shit. Oh, trust me. There's one of them that Dengster was telling me about. I can't remember which one. It was like, um, two or, oh, sorry, three or four or something where substory access can be locked in between two cutscenes of story. If you don't do it, then you don't get it at all. That's Purgatory, right? Yeah, yeah. That's the stairs. Um, so that's going to be the wild one. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Hey, Majima. Sup, Majima. Sup. Sorry, what? We're doing a Let's Play? We're playing a video game? What was that? No, I, 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 sorry. I wasn't aware that's what we were doing here. What? Sorry, what? What? What's happening? I don't understand. <laughs> Um, sub stories. Yes. What? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Is it wrong for me to cosplay Majima? <laughs> Fuser 3 has 78 points, but is by far the worst of the series in the current state. Yeah, gonna be rough coming from I'm going from this game to that. I've heard it's got a good story, though. Again, out, I, I, from this point onwards, when I started this LP, before I started this LP, it wasn't the case. And now that I've started this LP, I've heard it. Um, I've now heard every game from this point on is someone's favorite, so... And the construction work you helped from before. <laughs> There's so much any bummer through my veins, I want to punch something. I <laughs> have this shit going down much of a construction. Mind if I tag along? Yeah. More allies joining me. God, I'm going to have to just talk to every fucking person around town now. Just to make sure they all want to help me, if that's the case. I think Dengster was saying 4 was his, uh, his favorite. Their favorite. Her favorite. I can go with any of them, really. Um... <laughs> Oh god, it's people. From with three is having good stories at the facial. Facing is glacial. It's gonna take ages to get to that story. Mm. I mean, like, I have been told that in terms of, like, story complexity and stuff, it's a while before any of them even start approaching zero. Because <laughs> zero was just, like, every chapter ended with a whoa, what the fuck moment in terms of, like, learning new information or something happening. <laughs> Like, every chapter had something that was like a whoa, what the fuck moment. And like, one had a couple, but not many. And the characters felt weird. Four of my best favorites, partially biased because of being my first game. I also introduced one of my favorite characters in the series too. There it is, that's what you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one, that's the one, yeah. I knew it was four. See, when people talk to me, I do listen to them. I've had some people, not necessarily in um, YouTube, oh, there we go, but it's also Violent's favorite. Um, I've had some people, not in YouTube and everything like that, but I've had some people where it's just like, you know, listen to people when you talk, you know? You just kind of just have everything go by, and it's just like, there's a difference between me paying attention and listening to someone, and me remembering what they said later on. There's a huge difference here. And the difference is that I'm bad and, I'm, and I suck. <laughs> there we go. That being said, with 7 releasing, I've heard some people now say 7's their favorite. Hey, solid lineup. Those things gave me a bonus. I'm kind of at the point where I've got the bonus to XP, so I'm not worried as much about grinding stuff. That being said, I bet if I went into my stats and I found a specific thing I wanted, I'd care about it again. <laughs> um, is there a specific thing I want? Essence of Reversal. Triangle right after parrying. That's good. That is a good one. Seven's really fucking good, really fucking different, but really fucking good. I mean, it's an RPG and turn-based and at, at, at that, and it got, I mean, it's, it's the game board, so it's not the best judge in the world, but it's still an, some form of indicator. It's the first RPG the team's ever made, and it got nominated, and it got nominated for RPG of the Year. It didn't win, but it got fucking nominated, and RPG is a competitive field, there's a fuck ton of them. Which, I did see some people saying, that it's like, I really, I have seen on Twitter, um, in response to that, people just being like, I did really like, um, Seven, and I liked the, R the RPG mechanics of it, and I really liked it, but I don't want the rest of the games to be RPG, because there's so many other RPGs that exist, where other games that have combat, like Yakuza, don't exist, so it's just like, it might be really good, 
but there's other RPGs where there isn't other Yakuza beat-em-ups, which I can understand that mentality, but by the time I get to that, I'll have done seven games of Yakuza beat-em-ups, so there is also that. Seven's my new favorite for sure, but I treat it as a completely different beast than the Kiryu Saga. Thus, four is still my favorite in that respect. Okay, so you do actually prefer it. Okay. That's the stuff I was doing. Yeah, yeah. I was just building up to do all of this. Yeah. I was just building up to get these, but I need a shit ton of purples. I do not remember how to farm purples at this point. Um, so, if anything uses purples, I don't want to do it right now because I want purples for that. But anything else is fair game. Essence of Reversal. I don't even remember if I have parry. I assume I can't learn that until I get parry. What was the parry button? I don't even remember. I L1. L1. Okay. If I L1, if I L1 parry, I can do that. And then there's the parry mastery thing. L1 can triangle, can get some really good parries in. That's the shit that I'm looking for. You can kind of look at it, Judgment versus Yakuza as very different um, takes on what post Kiryu series is. Kiryu's games pretty solid, uh, silly shit, serious shit divide. Judgment leans more into serious, while 7 leans into more silly. Oh! Oh, okay. Interesting. I'm also kind of uncomfortable about playing um, Judgment. I don't, I, I already kind of don't like that I did fucking Lego City Undercover. I don't know if I can do a game like that that's more pro -cop propaganda. <laughs> like, I don't know if I can do that. I don't know if I can dedicate a series to Judgment because of that, because that still feels uncomfortable. Unless the message of Judgment comes away with being cops are fucking terrible. I mean, there's a, definitely elements of um, Yakuza that are pro cop, but there's also really bad cops. And stuff like that. I just don't want the system to be shown to be good. Which the system of cops is not shown to be good in Yakuza. There's just a couple of good boys amongst the rough. Which is still bad. But, you know. No. Oh, an eye for power. Yo, champ, how's it hanging? Hey there, Roba. Feeling better yet? Mm. Hmm. I think I'm close. Just gotta go for the final push. If only had some kind of feel to reignite the smoldering embers of my fighting spirit. Yagami's a PI ex lawyer, not a cop, but I don't know where the PI is full on the ACAP scale. Oh, okay. I thought he was directly like an old beat cop. I didn't realize he was a PI, so, okay. Uh, I don't, because again, the main thing with, the, the problem with ACAP is the power structure, the power structure that it has. And I have no idea personally where PIs fall into the power structure of cops. They feed information to the cops, so I imagine it's probably not a good end of that scale, but okay. That I didn't realize. I'm slightly more comfortable with that. Slightly. Slightly. Because lawyers as a system aren't bad. Because defense lawyers exist. <laughs> um, the justice system's bad, but lawyers as themselves aren't bad. Because, again, defense lawyers. How about stamina and XX? Let's go chug one of those and make a full recovery for sure. I usually carry those. Oh, fucking. Okay. I don't have a stamina and XX? Wow, okay. Jesus. <laughs> I didn't realize that was the div uh, divide though. That judgment is silly while seven, uh, seven. Um, sorry, judgment is um serious while seven silly. And I feel like being an RPG just lead like leads itself to being like you can have way more possibilities to be silly. Where's the drugstore? I forget. Go to Biggie Drugs. It's now next to um Millennium Tower. I do appreciate. I am definitely getting to a point with Camarocho where it's just like. I just need to look at where something is on the map relative to everywhere else, and I can work out, and I can navigate my way there without having to, like, go, okay, this turn, this turn, this turn, this turn. I can just be like, right, it's down, it's here relative to this side of Millennium Tower, and I can get there. That being said, I will say Millennium Tower kind of completely threw me off in terms of knowing Camarocho, like, entirely, because I'm just like, shit, it's so different! Ah, no! <laughs> Judgment equals classic accused gameplay where 7 is RPG. There is also that. There is also that. <laughs> Alright, wait, drugs! Drugs! Give me drugs! Not feeling well? I need a stamina and XX. Actually, I might as well. I might as well buy the maximum while I'm here, right? <laughs> uh, stamina and Royale. Um. Dramatic. I don't, I don't need royales right now. I don't think I have enough health to care, to take advantage of that. Um. Ah, fuck it. Just have those. There we go. It feels broken that you can carry start. like so many more health items in this game than previous ones. Like the change to the item box where it's not just all oh, 25 in total. You can just carry 10 of every healing item. Does feel a bit busted, but it's also just like less annoying, I guess. 
I mean, it means I can't have as many of the most powerful one, but I can have so many more of everything. Here he walks in a store and buys 50 health drinks. You have to wonder. If you're working that store and you see someone do that, what person is this? That being said, as someone who works retail, I sometimes see people buy a weird shit and I'm just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> I don't, and, and, it, and it doesn't cross my mind. Although, I work in a news agency, I normally don't get people bulk buying stuff. I only question when it's just like, ah, I'd like to buy $800 of lotto today. It's a 3 million draw, which is like the lowest that it can be. Yep, $800 of lotto, thank you. So I question that, but I don't have like bulk things that people can purchase that are super weird. I just get people asking for weird shit like, Yo, this is a news agency. Do you Boy. sell doctor certificates that I can give to my employee to say that I had time off of work? Um, no, I'm not a doctor. That's a real thing that I've had asked. That's probably the weirdest one. Cause it's just like, you're, you're asking if I sell forged doctor certificates. I'm a news agency. No, I don't. <laughs> Go to a doctor. 99% of them will just write you felt sick, couldn't work, and give it to you regardless. Come on. Stamina and XX, uh, I'll give it to him. Here you go. Bunny. More energy drink. Bottoms up. <laughs> That's a 10. <laughs> I can feel my muscles practically bulging out of my body. One-Eyed Monster is back in business. I feel like I just came an aphrodisiac and the One-Eyed Monster is his penis. Cyclops Opio is going to dominate the wrestling world. You ready to fight? No scary flame moves that would probably kill a guy. Hey, I've never killed anyone. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Ober. I'm Actually, no, I am full on health. I was about to say I'm not full on health. I am full on health, so we're good. Let's do this. Your full power, here we go! I, from memory, grabs were the thing that worked a lot on this dude. From memory. That worked. Ow, ow, ow. Urgh, there we go. Blooming blue death mode! Oh Jesus, okay. Ow. Come on, punchy, punchy, punch, pow! <laughs> Just a bunch of punch shots, why not? <laughs> oh, the parry's good. The parry's good. Can confirm, parry good. Ow, ow, ow. God damn it, okay. Alright, oh, big trouble kick. <laughs> he was winded, and I fucked up the opportunity to actually do well. Oh my god, his grabs are ridiculous. <laughs> ah. Fucking goddammit. He hit the tornado, G2G. <laughs> Everything needs to be wrestling. There's literally several wrestling moves in this game, and I'm fighting a wrestler right now. Everything needs to be wrestling, though. If your thing contains wrestling, your thing is immediately 50% cooler. I feel like the full body, like the full length combo I go on him is consistently not a good one that I try. I feel like I need to do a uh, move way earlier. Maybe a finishing hold instead of trying to get a second heavy, too. Or maybe actually, like, not getting hit. That would also work, too. <laughs> Music's so dramatic. Oh, God. Get, get, yeah, get, get a couple punches off while I can, like, grab my grabs. Fucking no! Shit, 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 shit. No! God damn it. So close. This is where you learn that I'm not good at the game. <laughs> I love the combat. It's just never flowed in my brain properly. Of just like, how do I do things well? <laughs> when I'm in a better mood, 
Okay. It does restart me with full health at the very least, so I can just try it again without having to eat a bunch of items. Here we go! <laughs> oh, it's just like, if I can beat you, then I can go back in the ring. But I did beat you. But you must have been bad, though. So let me try again. <laughs> uh... Ready? This is what we're gonna do, right? Yeah, and that just works, don't it? Oh, there we go. There we go. I don't know if you can parry grabs or if I just fucked up the timing on that, but it's one of the two. Fuck it, goddammit. The grabs are the stuff I'm not sure how to counter. That being said, he doesn't seem to know how to count on my grabs either. <laughs> oh, God, that is satisfying as hell. <laughs> being able to charge and just hold it is so good. But that feels actually broken. Because it's just, you just, like, let loose this massive attack whenever you're fucking ready. It's so good. Donk. Oh, okay, well, that's it. Ow, 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 okay. Okay, don't be too fancy. <laughs> Fuck. Whoops. Okay. Oh, god damn it! I dodged it and then it still grabs me! Oh, wow, okay. He's grabbed. Uh, resist has gotten a lot better. Fucking no! God damn it! Okay. Come on! Come on! Oh, there it is! There it is! Hell yeah! Ooh, that was really something, champ. Yeah. You actually got close to beating me that time. You're pretty good at full power. <laughs> Thanks. I think I'm finally ready to get back in the ring at the Coliseum. So you fully recovered? You betcha. I'm going to head over there now and enter an exhibition. Got to get the crowd pumped up for my big comeback. Good luck, Oba. Oh, and I got one last thing for you. This is my prized possession. And I want you to have it, champ. Mighty Prima! My master died before he finished this one, so only the people closest to him ever saw it. It might be a memoir, but he still fills it with pictures. I appreciated that part. I don't think I can take this over. It sounds really important to you. It's all good. I got it totally memorized. Besides, it makes me happy to see my master's teachings going out to the world, you know. So I'll see you later, champ. Yay! We encouraged a man to be very good at beating up men. Hero of the story. I imagine that's get a bunch of the sub stories. How many are we up to in our completion list? Um, 30. There it is. Holy shit, we're almost halfway. <laughs> wow. Um, all right. Valuables. Or is it another? I think it might be another. Mighty Primer. There it is. Use it. And I guess we just chuck it on the floor afterwards. It's a very special book. Bye. <laughs> Requires a ridiculous amount of strength. Slam the enemy face first into the ground. Oh, hell yeah, let's go. Oh, fuck yeah, let's go. Heat action, where is that? Show me that right now. Essence of might, there it is. Try- Oh, you have to be at full health. Wow. I'm learning that right now. <laughs> we're grabbing that one. <laughs> Oh my goodness, hell yeah, we're, we're gonna get that one. Um, okay. That's pretty good. I do think that used some purple, which I didn't want to, but that's fine. 
How much more purple do I need for this? I think I need like maximum for this. Uh, 599 or 235 or 403. God, I need so much purple. How do you farm purple? I don't think there's any place that you eat food where you farm purple. <laughs> I could really do with one. It would be really nice to have, but I don't think I've come across it. Other than crab shabu shabu. I think crab shabu shabu gives you some when you do it, but I don't think it's much. It might be 20 or so. I'm not sure. But we're currently not in certain boroughs, so we can't do it. We can catch a cab there, seemingly, but... I don't know if catching a cab to go there for that is worth it. Also, those two fights took off 50 of my health. Jeez, uh, sorry, 50 of my uh, hunger. I took off way more than that of my health. <laughs> Sup, I want food to heal me. Over. I want to not go over. There it is. <laughs> I just want full food. There we go. Nom nom nom. Thank you very much. Oh good. Alright. Alright, well let's stop into the popo. Cause I wanna see if I can actually get this sub story to continue. Cause it seems to be buy stuff from the popo and it continues, but I keep buying stuff from there and it keeps not continuing. So hurry up and continue. So what if I just buy one of everything? No! Oh, it's stamina in that. I was I can't buy any more of that. No, I must be full on actual items. No. Is this enough for you? How do I get this sub-story to continue? It is refusing to continue. Ah! Oh my god! The sub story doesn't want to continue. What is it? It just says be a regular. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah. What does it mean? The numbers, what do they mean? God damn it. Okay, well. I'm going over this way to seemingly do Kamaki stuff. I'm pretty sure this is where we saw Kamaki before. Oh, that's a thing I haven't... Have I bought that yet? Have I bought the fucking extreme heat mode yet? Have I actually purchased that yet? No, I haven't. God damn it. Buying this now. Fucking god damn it. I keep... It's like, why couldn't I use it before? It's because I didn't fucking buy it. There we go. There we go. Now let's go talk to Kamaki. I want to be able to do extreme heat mode. It's a way better Kiwami system than the previous game, and I want to be able to use it. Because it is better. Look at the Christmas decoration. That's ah, just a normal tree. Never mind. Don't look at the Christmas decoration. You are not allowed. You are hereby forbidden from looking at the Christmas decoration. <laughs> Run away from everyone trying to kill me. Run past everyone. Don't knock everyone over as we do so. Or do you? There we go. Destroy everything. There we go. Kamaki, how you going, buddy? Sup? There it is. Oi. The prodigal pupil returns. Are you interested in more training? This session, I'd like to sharpen your skill into a metaphorical sword that shall cut through your foe's attacks. To that end, you'll be learning the Kamaki Fist Ooh. Reversal. That's a counter attack, right? Indeed. It'll allow you to deflect blows coming from any direction as though they were mere flies buzzing around your head. What do you say, my dear disciple? Do you wish to learn? Teach me, old man. Oh ho ho! I appreciate your fervent enthusiasm, my dear pupil. Let us begin. Well, I have a giant sip of water from my giant jug of water. Also, I did say giant sip. Shut up. As I mentioned previously, this session is meant to enlighten you in the ways of the Kamaki Fist Reversal. While I have the hiccup. To activate it, stand still and wait for an enemy to attack you. Then press triangle when the heat icon appears. So stand still, it seems to be. Stand still when they attack, uh. press triangle. Yeah, okay. Kamaki's training.
There it is. Oh yeah, you just grab him and headbutt him. Is it literally standing still? Oh! With a weapon it may- Oh no, it did work. Or it doesn't? I don't understand. Heat mode! I think this one has different animations depending on which direction the hit is coming from. Ah! Master, this particular skill, well done. You're an eternal fan of Splendor. There we go. Glad you're happy. It's all for this lesson. Get out there and continue training. Simple enough. Can I do more right now? I sure can. So you return again, my finest people. I wish for you to learn the Kamaki firearm flip. Let's be kind of enemies with guns, right? Teach me. Why not? Ugh. Your continued enthusiasm is much appreciated. But we'll see if that enthusiasm wanes. In the face of firearms, this dude's gonna murder you with a gun. Don't be murdered. Go. Initially developed by my ancestors for use against flintlock rifles, the names you face in battle occasionally carry what those in modern era call a piece, do they not? <laughs> if that's how you want to put it, sure, buddy. Oh ho ho! With this skill, you'll be able to give those violent lowlifes a taste of their own medicine. I don't think it'd be nearly as ridiculous as it is in Yakuza. Nothing is. But I can see how the Tiger Drop would be effective in a real fight. Right when the opponent throws a punch, duck and gut check them as hard as you can. No, in real life, it would, like... Unless someone was very, very good at taking a hit, or, like, actually properly trained, any person who did that into real life would be winded and fall to the ground, I imagine. Because it is literally using their weight against them. If they're moving their entire body forward into a punch, yeah, getting hit right in the stomach, it would fuck them up. Absolutely fuck them up. Especially the way Kiryu does it, because Kiryu drops his whole body and, like, puts his weight into his shoulder to, to get in there. Like, the way he does it would be... Oh, God. It'd be, you'd, people would struggle to not fucking vomit the moment it hit them, I honestly think. <laughs> As for the execution, enter fighting stance your opponent with a gun, then press triangle when the heat icon appears on the screen. Okay, fighting stance is, I, am, I imagine, lock on. I procured counterfeit firearms for this session. They may hurt a lot, but they won't kill you. <laughs> They'll hurt. Oh, interesting. Okay, so like, they go to fire and then... There it is. Bam! Oh, you like shove the gun into their face. <laughs> nice. Give me the hate. There it is. There it is. Yeah, you literally butt the gun into their face. Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Truly astounding. Your growth is even faster than the moss on a weather worn boulder. Mm. I don't know how much of a compliment that is, but thanks. Glad you approve. Get out there and continue your training, you little skin. Go on, get out there. More training, Kamaki, why not? You're giving me a lot of that perp, so I'll take right. it. You're like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day, my dear pupil. You've worked quite tirelessly of late. Why don't we have the regular order of things with a one-on-one -on -one spartering match? Oh, I'll do That does seem, seem like good practice, so why not? I'll fight you. I may be on in years, but I do not expect an easy victory. But do not expect an easy victory. I get fucking up the words when I read them out. Hold on, old man. Why do you want to fight me to begin with? I suppose I owe you an explanation, my dear pupil. I've surveyed your abilities for quite some time now, and I've yet to see even a trace of decline. Well, I do get pretty active. Oh, yeah. That is good to hear, my dear pupil, but an active lifestyle alone is not enough. You must truly embrace the path of the martial artist if you wish to avoid stagnation. Hmm. Hence, today's sparring session. Your form in the Kamaki style will only improve if you forge your resolve against a strong opponent. And you're that strong opponent? Oh, ho, ho, correct you are. It wouldn't be very exciting if you were simply swatting down my other pupils like houseflies, now would it? Strongest opponent possible stands before you now. And honestly, I'd just like to fight you again. <laughs> Never change, old man. Yeah, it's easy to see when Kamaki is like helping train Majima in Zero how Majima becomes who he is. Along with every other character that Majima meets in Zero. 
Sorry about this though, I won't hold back in a fight. I expect nothing less, my dear pupil. After all, you would never land a single hit on me if you didn't exert yourself to the fullest. I am as a leaf fluttering in the wind. Impossible to grasp without the utmost precision and concentration. Uh-huh. You must try your hardest if you wish to succeed. Anything less would result in utter failure. No weapons, no items. Final destination! We fight. I'm doing a lot of these solo one-on-one -on -one true fights. Ow. Ow. Is what I'm learning here. How do I stop people from blocking all the time? Oh, I, I know how. You dodge behind him and then you punch him. In the back! Come on. This dude's harder than over by a lot. This dude's harder than over by a lot. Another example of- Boy, I wish I was good at video games instead of not. He was in a stun stance and he still blocked me, what the fuck? Oh, he parried me! Bastard. He parried me! What a prick. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm not even gonna get a fucking health bar down. I just... He has the same combo string as Kiryu. Oh my god, yeah, he does too, yeah. Urgh! One health bar down. Come on! I like actually dodged around. Oh my god! He's parrying every single hit that I do from behind him. Ow! Ow! So it's just when enemies are like this, I'm just like, I. Even after this many games and this many hours in Yakuza, I'm just like, I still don't understand what I'm meant to do. Like, when an enemy's constantly blocking me, when they're constantly parrying me. You said no flaming heat death moves, you cheating fucking prick! You, you fucking prick! You fucking asshole! You're a lying sack of shit! Fuck this guy! You said no heat mode! You said no heat mode! You said no heat mode! He just tiger bounced me. Tiger bounced me. No, I can't enter extreme heat mode. No. No, I can't. It's not like, it won't let me. Cause you notice when I'm at full? No R2 prompts beneath my health. He's a fucking cheating sack of shit. Can I get out a gun and shoot this guy? Cause he's a lying sack of shit. Do you want to continue? Yes. What, does that mean restart the fight or? That seemed like it counted as a death. <laughs> Again, yeah, subjecting me to a loading screen. I didn't do this when I lost against Oba. I think that counted as a death. I think Kamaki murdered me. What a lying scumbag! What a piece of shit! Fuck Kamaki! Fuck Kamaki! <laughs> so that's the thing, again. It's something I've never understood in these games, and I don't know what I meant what I meant to do in that. It's just like when enemies are like that, what what's the actual like what are you actually meant to do? What are you actually meant to do gameplay wise to actually overcome that? If an enemy's blocking you too much, what are you meant to do? If an enemy's powering you too much, what are you meant to do? If dodging behind an enemy means they still block you or parry you, what are you meant to do? This is something that literally no one has ever been able to explain to me in any capacity across all of these games. Like, this is where the problem for me being good at um, Yakuza combat falls. Where it's just like, I don't understand what I'm meant to do. Like, when enemies actually put up a resistance to letting me fight them, like, 
When enemies can stop what I try to do, I don't understand what I'm meant to do. I've never understood the flow of combat enough to understand how I am meant to overcome those things. It's never been something I've been able to do. And it's something I've never learned across all of the games, where it's just like, I don't understand. Because then, because it is, because it's just like every option that I try feels like it doesn't work. So I'm just like, so what are the options that you are meant to do that do work? And in Kiwami 1, the answer honestly felt like it was Tiger Drop. Just only Tiger Drop. And that wasn't satisfying. I mean, it was satisfying to get these big hits off, but it wasn't satisfying combat to just be like, how do I win this fight? I Tiger Drop. How do you win this fight? You Tiger Drop. Oh, it's just, I've never understood what are you meant to be doing in combat to actually overcome enemies that fight against Because like, if I get to like, if I get to like character action games, I can understand that way better. But in this, I'm just like, I have no idea. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> and you're dead. We grab this. Underleveled, I guess. No, it's not about that. No, I know it's not that. Because it's not about how much damage I'm doing or how much damage I'm taking. It's about what do I do. Also, stop Gary. I don't know if I ever said hi to you when you came in the chat, but welcome. Hello. <laughs> Rawr! Beast mode, I picked up a bike and I broke it across the dude in one, in one fucking go. Hell yeah. Because again, like, for the Kamaki fight, it's just like, when I tried to attack him, he would block me. Or he would parry me. When I tried to dodge behind him, he would block me or parry me and everything like that. And when I tried to block his combos, I would end up getting hit at the end of the combos. When I tried to dodge those combos, he would turn enough in his combos to then hit me. And it's just like... Anything I'm trying to do to attack him, every option that I can think of ends up not working. And every option that he does to me, every t every response I have to try and avoid taking the damage, then doesn't work. <laughs> and it's just like, I don't know what options I have to actually succeed in combat. I don't understand what I'm meant to be doing in terms of the decisions I make to actually succeed in combat. In terms of working around enemies who are good at stopping you um, attacking them or are good at breaking through your defenses. It's fighting them that I've never understood what I'm actually meant to do. I usually defeat the big fights by being overpowered and super like and super armoring through everything and like killing them before they get the opportunity to kill me. Mm -hmm.